X5P.com. Use code CUTE at checkout. Link down below me buying coins off the website is a very short and to the point video to help you save your money. Right now, prices are down, so go get the coins before prices go back up. Right now, 500k is below $14 when you use code Q. All right, guys, we are back. Top 10 pass rushers. I'm gonna clear up the picture for you. Subscribe if you're new to. I do at least three videos a day. I've done four today. I did eight yesterday, and we got a lot more coming tomorrow. So hit the button, stay a while. Hit the like button. This really helps you. Or if you just want to support the channel, thank you very much. Now. I'm going to show you something that's really going to help you clear up the picture real quick before we get to number 10. You need to listen to this. Okay. Max. Big problem. Big problem. Okay. They did not give him edge threat elite. Okay. They gave him edge threat. It's not the same thing. Edge threat elite is an S tier ability. Edge threat is like a B tier ability. Okay. So what's crazy is they take away his X factor he has. Okay. And then... Look at this. S Red Elite, he gets it here with double or nothing. Double or nothing on the new card is 4 AP, which is crazy. So this Mad Max is actually better than the new one. Yes. Now, Cam Hayward didn't make the list. You know why? One, he doesn't get Edge Red Elite. He gets double or nothing for one. So this guy's missing an extreme an ability that's extremely important, guys. And then. You got J.J. Watt. Guess what? They took away his X Factor here. So the Milkman's actually better because the X Factor does not have something that can counter it, okay? Now, we're gonna to get to the list here and I do wanna point out Nick Boza, okay? Mr. Boza, s Elite for one and then Double or Nothing's here. You can't get Double or Nothing with it, right? You're not gonna pay four for it. So it actually, his other card is better, okay? So let's go ahead, let's get to the list. Who's number 10? Number 10 is Mad Max, not the team of the year. Great speed, hits the thresholds with power and finesse, good block shed, and yes, he plays pretty well. I like him on my team. He's been on my team for a while now. Extra Elite for one, double or nothing for one. So that's a great combo. There, he doesn't get anything great in tier three. That's why he's not the highest. But he's definitely better than the cards I just listed because of his, one, his X Factor is not that bad. And then his abilities are better than the cards that just came out. So number 10 is Mad Max. All right, guys, and number nine is going to be Garrett. Now, when you look at Garrett, you see his speed's not going to be that bad at all. Of course, he's going to hit the thresholds. Everybody's going to hit the thresholds in this video, of course. But he can play left end, which is nice. You don't need a right end. There you go. And you guessed it right here. He gets, well, Ed Sturdily for one and double or nothing for one. So his abilities are already better than Cam, the new Boza, Brian Burns. I mean, guys, I don't know why they took stuff off of the new cards. I'm just here to help you guys save your coins. I know there's newer players out there. I really want to help you guys. That's why I do these videos to help people. So let's go ahead and let's call him number nine because well if you remember his uh most feared card it was insane 99 strength also is pretty nice and 98 block shed so this guy is really good and well-rounded um number nine is miles garrett up next we do have mario williams mario williams acceleration kind of holds him back it's in the 80s that's not good you need to get the quarterback where you can throw the ball away that's not going to help and you can move this guy around right in right outside i do like that of course he gets the thresholds and right down here you can see he gets extra elite for one double or nothing for zero so he already has a better ap setup than garrett and he's older than garrett that's why i don't understand what they're doing with these cards but yes mario is going to be able to round it as well the strength and the block shed this guy's going to be really good i do like that you can move him around he is number eight. Next is Nick Boza. His card is better than his team of the year, guys. It's silly, but it's true. And if you look right here, Ezra Elite for one, unpredictable for zero. I like it. Um, Ezra Elite is so important. And this guy here has crazy block shed at 99. Now, when you look at this card right here, this is the team of the year. And guess what? 
they put all the stuff on the same. So you can't get double or nothing here for a good discount. It's for four, okay? And then you can't get unpredictable here for a good discount. So just go get the other card. Do not waste your coins, please. This guy does do well for me. He's on my team right now. Um, and he, yeah, plays well for me. I like him. I just wish he had discounts in tier three. He really doesn't. None of those are gonna be worth it. So Nick Boza, it's pretty good. Mike Freeney is on the Falcons team team. He plays well. He has a great speed. Acceleration at least is above an 80. It's not the best though. And you like this guy because you can move him around to the outside. Left outside, right outside, move to the edge. I really do like that. This guy here also, double or nothing for zero, edge to elite for one. So that's a pretty good setup there. So with a better setup, um, he's definitely gonna be higher than the other card I just mentioned. Um, this guy gets good animations. If you've not tried him, I would suggest him. Um, he's really good and his price is dropping. Uh, I would just give him the next weekend at probably even lower on Saturday when, well, tomorrow when we get more Ultimate Legends, probably will be just better. Uh, but yeah, on the list, and he's really good. Up next is Charles Haley, 97 Excel. He's getting to the quarterback, okay? 93 speed, of course he has the thresholds here. You can move him around everywhere. That's why he's a little higher on the list. I do like that. And yes, of course, he gets edge threat elite for one, double or nothing for zero. He can put tackle supreme. This guy here gets better discounts than all the team of the year cards, which is just silly and true. So definitely go get Haley for the outside, or you can even move him around. He's on the list, he's pretty good. Walker is next. Look at the speed, 95 speed off the edge. Get the combine strat card, guys. It takes two seconds to do it on the solo. Go get it. Go put it on him. 96 speed, 94 excel. Then this guy is zooming. He gets the threshold, of course. And yes, of course, he gets great discounts. Um, he gets double or nothing for zero. And yes, that's for the Libra one. So great discounts, great speed. Definitely on the list. Should be on your team especially just at that position. The position's kind of weak right now, and this guy coming off the edge can really help your team. Up next is Too Tall, and yes, he is special. 94 speed, 97 excel. This guy is zooming off the edge, and man, he just plays better than you think. He really does. This guy gets great animations. As to elite zero, that's why he's special. He's the only card in the game that gets that. So if you really need to help set up your AP, go get him. This guy is so good. Um, if you want to spend more XP, you could put unpredictable on him. But I'm gonna tell you right now, with that with zero XP, this guy is effective, and that's pretty crazy. But who's number two? Number two is Milkman, and yes, he is slow. And guess what? He's still better. He hits the threshold. You can move him to right end, which is pretty nice. Now, what's so special is his X Factor. There's nothing that counters it. Edge protector, secure protector, wherever you're going to put all day, doesn't matter. This guy is getting through. He's the most effective, and you need him right now. If you have 350K, he better be on your team, or you're doing it wrong, guys. He has something that can't be countered. It's very simple. He's number two. Who's number one? One's just a faster version. 94 speed, 96 XL. And yes, you can move him to right in. Of course, he hits the thresholds and he gets the same X factor, right? It's crazy. There's hardly any of these on the block. His price is outrageous. He was 600K when he was in packs. His price will go down when AKA cards come back out. And when it does, I would suggest this guy. Right now, uh, I would suggest him to be your free AKA. If you guys do the solos and get one at the end, um, I would suggest him because there's nothing that counters X Factor, Secure Protector, none of that works. This is definitely the best DN in the game. It is not close at all. Uh, go get Tank if you got the coins, which you should. Go to xyp.com, use code CUTE. Get your coins super cheap. I'll see you in the next video. Be kind for no reason. Help each other. Encourage each other. Go watch the wide receivers. I just did top 10 wide receivers. I just did top 10 theme teams. I just did top 10 corners. Go watch them. This is my last video of the day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.